Hello friends, it's Anna Komenda here. Welcome in my next video for Pink Fresh Studio. Today we are going to create a very colorful layout. I will be using the brand new stamp. Uh, it's a mounted cling stamp co called uh, Nested Chevron. And it's a very great product because you can kind of rip it apart and use only a piece of it but the frame that is around the stamp helps you put it together and use it as a background stamp just like it is i am using uh one two three four six colors of distress oxide the uh, purple one is called wilted violet the blue one is called peacock feathers uh, the uh, green one is called Twisted Citron, yellow is called Squeezed Lemonade, uh, orange one is called Spiced Marmalade and the pink one is Picked Raspberry. So I'm using those to stamp uh, the same uh, arrow, I would say, over and over on the watercolor paper. Uh, it's important uh, it have to be it has to be watercolor paper because we'll spray it with water. And so the paper has to have a lot of resistance for moisture. And as you can see, I'm not being too precise. I'm just trying to eyeball it. And my <laughs> acrylic block had this kind of self-adhesive layer for the stamps that do not have this sticky layer, but it was already dirty, so I had to remove it. And the last color of the rainbow will be pink. Um, and I will also add a few of those on the other side. To be honest, it really looks good just like it is, so you can leave it uh, this way if you don't want to mess up with the mixed media too much, uh, because this um, this kind of pattern can be, uh, I would say, spread it all over the background. Uh, you can do a chevron by just rotating uh, the arrow. Uh, it's a very, very versatile uh, stamp set, perfect for card makers, but not only. As you can see, you can use it on layouts too. And I am spraying everything with water. I'm just gently spraying it. It's not a big um, stream of water, I would say. I'm using, this is a dim hold distress Prayer and it can make like a water splatters, not only this very, very fine mist. So I'm just spraying, uh, spraying over the background and let the uh, distress oxides do uh, their magic. And I'm uh, also trying to wipe off all the muddy color that might be created on the background using just a paper towel. I'm leaving it to dry flat. I'm not moving it. Uh, because I don't want the colors to float anymore. Um, in the meantime, when I was waiting for the background to dry, I fussy cut a few of uh, hearts from one of the stay-at-home papers because this is the collection uh, I am going to use for this page. Uh, I noticed that my yellow almost disappeared, so I just stamped it again uh, with my hand. <laughs> I was too lazy to find um acrylic block again and I'm just drying the uh, layer uh, of the ink and all the background is almost dry. Uh, as I said I'm working with Stay at Home Collection. It's a brand new Pink Fresh Studio line. It's a very colorful line but it's uh, made mostly to scrapbook indoor activities, uh, things we do at home uh, during the lockdown. Um, I, pre I, um, I printed myself a picture of the rainbow, the most perfect rainbow I have ever seen in my life. So I will be not scrapbooking any indoor activities with this line. But as you can see, it can also work for this kind of photo. Um, there are some rainbows in this collection, so I thought it will be a good match for this particular picture. Um, I snapped it when I was visiting my friend Zoe in Australia. We were driving to Brisbane uh, and it was raining heavily. And then out of the sudden, beautiful rainbow appeared and it was just a perfect arch. I 
uh, I wasn't able to snap a picture of the whole arch because it wasn't fitting into <laughs> the photo frame. Uh, so I had to take only a part of it. Um, I'm looking for a uh, embellishments that may work with my layout so I'm just uh, picking some uh, on the side I was going through ephemera pack and tags uh, and pockets uh, pack it was all together in one bowl and I found this rainbow but it has some inscription uh, so I thought I will cut it out and I am also liking those uh, flowers uh, that were in the ephemera pack but then I remembered there is actual a rainbow in the papers. Uh, it's not so colorful as the one, uh, one I created. It has more limited color palette, but I cut it out from 6x6 six six paper. And I thought I will try to arrange it uh, around my background. I didn't have any like a vision, you know, the <laughs> ready plan. I was just playing around with it trying to find the perfect spot for my rainbow and uh, finally I did up uh, I did use it on the page uh, but I wish it has more colors <laughs> yes I have a rainbow soul so this is how the rainbow will go and I just need to glue it down uh, using um, uh, for this rainbow, I use uh, 3D foam strips. They are such a great product. It is a scrapbook.com product. Uh, it's a foam. Many people ask me about it. It's a bendable foam, so it can change shape from the straight, and it's perfect for those curves and curvy elements to uh, glue down if you want some dimension. Uh, I thought the upper part of the page needed something, so I chose the frame, uh, no, it's a tab, a grey tab from the cardstock stickers. And now I went back to my rainbow and I'm gluing down strip after strip. So as you can see, the strips are, ha uh, are a perfect shape for this one. I'm also gluing down the row of hearts. Those are fussy cut from one of the ephemera pieces or maybe from the paper. I don't remember. I fussy cut them previously and now I just had them in my stash. And I'm also gluing down the flowers. But as you can see, they look like um, a little bit too wide. I would say like, you know, <clears throat> they do not correspond well with the rainbow theme, but I like the flowers and I wanted to put them there. And when I glued them down, I thought, well, I need a more color around here. So I thought maybe I will try to paint them. And I did. I painted the flowers. <clears throat> you will see it in a second. It was just my, you know, <laughs> mind flowing around and uh, wondering what to do next. I finished the rainbow on the upper side and then I was just, you know, looking for something to cover those flowers and I didn't find anything specific and it was just um, like a brainstorm inside my head. Um, I'm still working on covering it, like adding more colorful elements in hope that it will uh, be enough. So I glued down the hearty fishtail something and the rainbow I previously fussy cut it, but I'm still not happy how it all looks. I'm going through all other elements and this is the moment I decide, wait, I can paint the flowers using the same colors I used uh, for my uh, rainbowish uh, background. So I'm just stamping uh, a little bit of color on my glass mat and I will be using clear water and brush and just very simply painting uh, the flowers. I'm not into any shading or something like this. I'm just painting those quickly using the same colors, no shading, no anything, because first this paper is not meant to be used as a watercolor paper, it's quite thick so it could uh, handle some moisture but the colors soak into the background immediately and you cannot move it, them to create kind of a shading so i just wanted to have some color and most of the ephemera isn't visible anymore so it wasn't a problem 
and <laughs> I wish I had done it before I glue them down but this is this is how my mind works and I often <laughs> have to do things like this uh, so um, after I had all the inks on the uh, on the glass mat, I decided I needed more mess and I added some colorful splatters. It would be a shame to waste those colors, so this was the perfect moment to do the splatters. But I usually do this after all the elements are on the page, so the splatters would go also on the ephemera pieces and other layers, not only on the background. But in this uh, moment, I thought that I will leave those uh, colors uh, on my uh, glass mat. It will be a disaster because I will for sure forget, forget about them and I will bring the color to my clothes or uh, even worse to the project and I will destroy everything. I glue down the upper flower and I added some navy frame uh, uh, while the dots were uh, drying. And now I'm scattering around the hearts that I previously fussy cutted. I also added those groups of hearts from um, puffy stickers. I forgot recording it but it's nothing uh, complicated you can easily <laughs> recreate it without seeing it on the video and i'm using 3d foam squares to glue down all the hearts to add a little bit more dimension and now it's time for the title it will be perfect rainbow and i was uh, wondering if i should mix uh, two of the uh, sticker sheets that are included into the line but then i decided i will go only with the <coughs> mini puffy alpha stickers because first they were already colorful so i could build the word rainbow that was actually rainbow and uh, I also have um, a perfect spot above my picture and I split the title uh, into two parts. So the perfect is on the upper part and the rainbow is on the lower part. Mm, I like bigger titles usually, uh, the ones that draw attention more, but this is just a perfect solution not to cover to my uh, colorful background. And I'm finishing everything with enamel dots that are also from Stay at Home collection. They are uh, in a few colors of rainbow, of course. So I'm just scattering them around, uh, trying to put them color on color. And this will be it. My page is done. I hope you feel inspired uh, by the rainbows. Rainbows is something we totally need right now. Uh, thank you for uh, stopping by. If you want the link to the stamp I use, ch check the description box. And see you soon on my next video. Bye!